goosebumps today. Had goosebumps when we were running. Fire trucks were going, things were, it was just this local little town. Just to see that emotion that they have for people that are total strangers to them makes it so much more important for me for the guys I knew personally. People complain about the heat this time of year, it's nothing compared to what we had. So it brings you back to what we did and, and kind of makes it, you know, more real. Uh, one of the guys that was attached to our unit actually died on 526, which is today's date. Uh, Major Crocker from an RPG blast. So things like that always kind of happen right around this week weekend, depending on you know dates and how Memorial Day falls. So always reflect and remember what you did and where you came from. Said goodbye to them one evening. Says, "Hey, I'll be back in the city, you know, tomorrow or see in a few days. It'll be great. We'll be down on a convoy." Never saw him again. The mission is to run 100 miles in 24 hours. So we got to get from point A to point B. These guys didn't make it home, so it's up to us to have a good life, showing everybody how how much they all meant to us we want them to pause and reflect they did that right there they stopped their cars put up a couple of fire engines so it was more than just hey let's stop and beat for you and wave and when we go out all the way down the road that's really nice because then it really makes an impact i'm complaining because i'm stuck in traffic but these guys are actually sweating out there on the pavement running carrying flags you know it's that's pretty good and that's what we want. Every step you're thinking you're getting closer to not you know revenge or redemption or anything but just like getting closer to where everything started and that day September 11th impacted all of our lives everybody here live more than we're ever gonna realize so they're definitely on our minds this weekend for sure. They were good people and they were cut down in their prime they had years to live you know, 25, 30 year old guys who just want to have family and, and get on them with their life and just just be good people. And be there with the guys who just sweated and fought out this. Some guys were injured, they twisted ankles. Same thing in Iraq, you fought through it and you got through it and it just, it was moving.